Yo, what's up everyone? There's a new item shop that's about to drop in five seconds. I don't know what exactly it's gonna be dropping. I'm a little confused, excited. Let's see what's dropping. Gotta go all the way to the top. Okay, so there it was an official Pac-Man Fortnite collaboration happening. So this is it. We have an emote and we have reactive backblings. So I love Pac-Man growing up for sure. So let's check out the emote. Okay. Cool. So just kind of like an AFK cool little emote. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It, you can't really see it that good. I guess when you're playing in game, it'd be a little bit better. And let's take a look at the back bling. Okay, so we have, let's see. We have one back bling here worth 500 V-Bucks. Back bling transforms when taking damage or while knocked down and back bling reacts to movement. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we do have selectable styles. The general Pac-Man one. We have Blinky. I like the textured effect. I like the movement. Pinky. And I think the orange one has like something that doesn't end with a Y. Inky and Clyde. That's right. So we have the four ghosts. Pac-Man itself so we can see the reactivity here. I like the It's kind of like a bit of a pixelation on there. It looks pretty good So the back blings transform when taking damage or being knocked down. Okay Definitely want to test this out All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the emote get the back bling and we're gonna see exactly what it looks like in game All right, so this is the Pac-Man back bling in game as you can see it's got like a pixelation effect throughout the entire thing so that looks really good. And then it's got kind of like a rolling, waving uh, animation going throughout the entire time. So the reactivity is when you go left, right, it changes directions. Moving back and front really doesn't do anything. But if you go left or right, that's when we see the change in the direction. So that looks pretty good, pretty good. I'm definitely interested in what's gonna happen once we get knocked, so that we're gonna be doing that here in a little bit. But there's also a reactivity to taking damage. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw an enemy bot and then see what happens when we take some damage. Nothing yet. Wow. <laughs> if you don't move, they will not hit you. There we go. Okay, so you can see, yeah, there's that pixelation effect when you start to take damage. Okay. All right, we're going to take one more look at the reactivity when we take damage. So you can see, there you go, that pixelation effect. It looks really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and switch to one of the ghosts. So now we have the red ghost. And as you can see, this one's a little bit more interactive. So if you're moving forward, the eyes go forward. You move backwards, it goes down, right, left. So we're going in a circle. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And it's got kind of that same wave effect. You can see all the pixels throughout. The legs or the bottom of the ghost are always moving. So that looks really, really good. So these ghosts are going to be way more interactive. I can tell that already. So we're going to see what happens when we take damage. So let's do this. I really do like the way that this one looks more already. And then you have more color combinations. And that looks really good. So it turns into that when I guess uh, whenever Pac-Man eats that circle that changes them. That's a really cool It's a really cool idea. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Yeah, I definitely like the ghosts more and this matches very well with the skin that I have. One thing that we haven't looked at yet is the emote, so let's do that. Okay, this definitely looks way better than it did in the item shop. Because in the item shop, it was like, above you really couldn't see anything. This looks really good. Nice. It looks really good. Yeah, definitely way better than the item shop. And we can see the reactivity happening here. And it seems to be just like a continuous loop. Nice. I'm a big fan of these. 
All right, now that we're dead, we're gonna go ahead and switch to one of the other color of the ghosts and check that out. As you can see, when we're in game and it's a little bit darker, it's not like a glowing effect that the back blings have, so they do look normal. But this is the pink ghost. I think it's pinky, ironically. So as you can see, it has the same reactivity as the red one. As you go left, right, up, down, the eyes match, which look really good. So I think these will be great whenever you're trying to match them up with uh, different combos. And we're going to take a little bit of damage. Yeah, same effect. Re looks really good. And you have that little sound effect too. Oh, and when you jump up and down, it does that pixelation effect. It's the same thing that Pac-Man does when he takes damage. That's really cool. And then you have that little sound effect. I think that's the same sound effect that happens when you get eaten in Pac-Man. When the gets uh, t he takes out the ghost. Yeah. I really do like the ghost a lot better. Let's go ahead and check out the other ones. All right, so we have the blue one. Up, right, down, left, right, left. I like how the eyes keep moving. You've got that nice effect. I do like it whenever you jump. It makes that little pixelation effect. And let's take damage with this guy. Yeah, as you can see, it's the same thing. Yeah, I just think it's going to be great being able to match all the different ghosts to your combos based off of what color you're going to be primarily wearing. Damage looks really good. I'm a big fan. Let's check out the last one. All right, now we have the final ghost, the orange ghost, which is named Clyde. I still look great. Let's go ahead and take some fall damage so you can see exactly what happened. Yeah, looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and test out what happens when you get knocked. Because we have not seen that yet so let's go test that out all right so one of the reactivities is from being knocked so we're gonna go ahead and jump and see what happens when we're knocked okay so it played the sound effect that was pretty cool go ahead and res me i don't think much happened to the actual back bling it did play that like classic pat Megan sound so we're gonna do that one more time just to double check that geronimo Okay, so it did like a whole pixelation effect. I is doing it again right now. So that that's pretty cool. We'll do that one more time. And then we're gonna try it with the other style, the ghost styles. Alright, last one. You should see like a pixelation freak out. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so that's what happens when you are not. Let's go ahead and test out one of the other styles. All right, so now we're gonna test and see what happens when you're using the red ghost back bling. Let's go. Nice. So this one actually looks like whenever Pac-Man eats the ghost and the body goes away and it's just the eyes moving. So that's a better. I do like this one. It's definitely more interactive just from everything. You have the eyes, you have uh, the cool effect when you take damage. And then that nice little Easter egg whenever you do get knocked makes sense, you know. I like it. Definitely better than Pac-Man for sure. Alright, this is with the pink style. I'm gonna jump in three, two, one. Nice. And I like the sound effect it does too, so that's cool. Alright, this is with the blue edit style. All right, last one. We have the orange style, which I believe his name was Clyde. Bombs away. Yeah, I do like the sound effect a lot. Just the eyes, pretty cool. I think the ghosts definitely have the better reactivity, for sure. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Are you going to be getting any of these cosmetics in the item shop? Let me know down in the comments below. What did you think? And I definitely was pleasantly surprised. The emote, like I said, is really, really cool. Definitely looks better in game because you get kind of like that heads on view of the game going on. And then these cosmetics, I like how they're reactive. Um, I definitely think that the ghosts are going to be the shining stars out of here and I like that it's just one back bling and you're not having to get 
five because I feel like they've done that kind of stuff before. So being able to just get one and being able to have these edit styles. Um, Pac-Man, I mean iconic, but a little bit bland when it comes to the actual reactivity. And I get it, there's no eyes, there's not much that you can do. These ghosts have so much more personality, you have different colors. So I would give the emote a 9 out of 10. Very, very cool. Very visually appealing. So much going on. I know it's a continuous loop, but really, really good. Really, really exciting. The back bling, I mean, you get five different edit styles for 500 V-Bucks. Um, you get some great reactivity. It looks good as you're playing, and it's very minimal, very sleek, good animations. I'd give the back bling a 9 out of 10. For what you're getting for 500 V-Bucks, you get a great deal and you get a lot of different options to be able to pair up to different outfits that you're going to be running. So I would give the back bling a 9 out of 10. If you're a Pac-Man fan, even if you're not, this is something that you definitely want to grab. Like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for all the love, all the support. Like I said, we're going to be streaming the end of the season event on Twitch. So if you haven't yet, go to twitch.tv slash Ruben Esparza. Hit that follow button and be a part of our end of season stream. It's going to be so fun. I cannot wait for the live event. I think it's going to be great. But again, guys, that's going to be it for today. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.